Welcome to this instructional video on volumetric pipetting. In this video, we will show you the correct use of volumetric pipettes, as well as bulb and wheel type pipette fillers. Before you start, make sure that you are wearing appropriate personal protective equipment. Always wear your lab jacket and safety goggles in the lab. If necessary, wear gloves. Your lab manual will highlight whether you should wear gloves for a particular experiment with a notice that looks like this. Gather all necessary glassware and make sure it's clean. We will cover two types of pipette fillers. To use the bulb type pipette filler, hold valve A and squeeze the bulb to exclude the air. Once the pipette is placed into the correct position in the bulb and the tip is below the surface of the liquid, hold S to draw the solution into the pipette. To empty the pipette in a controlled way, hold E. To use the wheel type pipette filler, make sure the plunger is completely down. Once the pipette is in the correct position in the filler and the tip of the pipette is below the surface of the liquid, scroll the wheel downwards to draw the solution into the pipette. The button releases the liquid, however, you will see later how to control the level of the liquid using your forefinger over the end of the pipette. When inserting the pipette into the pipette filler, hold the glass close to the end as shown to avoid any accidental breakages. Don't push the pipette too far into the filler as you risk damaging the valves and seals. Never pipette straight from the stock solution as this creates a contamination risk. Always pipette from a separate container. Rinse the pipette with deionized water three times before the solution to be pipetted. Fill the pipette with water, being careful not to draw liquid into the bulb. Drain the solution into waste. Make sure that the pipette is clean before continuing, checking for droplets on the inside of the glass. If the pipette is still dirty, wash it with detergent and again with deionized water until clean. Dry the end of the pipette by dabbing it in a paper towel before using the next solution. Rinse the pipette with the solution to be pipetted. Again, do not pipette straight from the stock solution. Fill the pipette with a small amount of the solution and roll around the inside of the glass by rotating and tilting the pipette. Dry the end of the pipette by dabbing it in a paper towel Fill the pipette so that the solution goes above the graduation mark, but not into the bulb. Drain the liquid so that the bottom of the meniscus is touching the graduation mark, reading the satai level and ensuring the pipette is vertical. If you are using the bulb type filler, you should drain the solution to the graduation mark using the E-valve on the bulb. If you are using the wheel type filler, once the solution is above the graduation mark, quickly remove the pipette filler and place your forefinger over the end of the pipette. Drain to the graduation mark by slowly releasing pressure by moving your forefinger. Empty the pipette into the sample container. Make sure that the tip of the pipette is below the neck of the container and the solution does not run down the sides of the flask. Do not try to force out any remaining liquid as the pipette is calibrated to account for this. Once you are done pipetting, clean the glassware as necessary.